Are you solo in Hunt Showdown? Are you struggling to get out alive? Well, let's dive in so that way we can make you a better survivor and get those bounties. All right, guys. So here we are, the solo guide to Hunt Showdown, making you a better survivor and getting out. First thing and foremost, let's jump right in here. The first thing you want to do is the is the traits. That's going to set you apart from any other solo player. Um, the guns, you can use pretty much whatever you want. You can use the Romero is really good for the shotguns if you want to be close. Um, me personally, I use the Winfield just so that way I have a lot more range. I normally don't use the scope, but I picked this one up off of a guy yesterday. Um, and I've been using it since. And then I have the Nagant. Insane. I've never used the Nagant with a poison ammo. Hands down, probably one of my favorite pistols to, to put on my sidearm. But now, getting to the traits, first thing you're going to want is Necromancer. It is the best trait that you could possibly have if you're solo. It allows you to revive yourself as many times as your health allows it. Every time you get knocked, you lose a chunk of your health, and then you revive with the rest of it. Now, to go along with that trait, to make it top tier, you run Resilience, allowing you to revive with full HP. So every time you die, you lose one chunk. I'm going to revive myself, get the full three chunks here. If I die again, I lose this third one, and I'm going to revive with two chunks. So I can revive myself with the black coat three different times. Okay. Now, in my personal opinion, the only other trait you necessarily need to get this whole package kind of rolling is salve skin reduces the fire damage the burn speed by 25 percent even when you're when you're down so that allows you to kind of sit there and wait it out a little bit longer because of everybody burning bodies after they knock somebody um, just with the solo cues of necromancer and just teammates just reviving quite often um, so you you negate the the need to revive very fast so you can kind of sit and wait it out and then just try to catch them by surprise but without further ado let's take a look at the necromancer build in action There's no... Damn, Romero. I do not. Yep. Oh! Unknown player. I did 62 to him. I hear him right next to me. He's still. On the run.
And that right there is why you always burn bodies. Always. Thank mm -hmm. you.